everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. I'm so excited that we're going to be watching a few Alien movies. Jen and I have been holding off watching some Alien movies as we were getting through the James Bond films. There's been several movies that we've been wanting to see, but we've been just putting off. We wanted to watch Alien, Aliens. We wanted to watch E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Avatar, so I'm very excited that we're gonna be getting into some of those. Avatar, the highest grossing movie of all time. Previously, it was Titanic, written and directed by James Cameron. 10 years later, he releases Avatar, again, written and directed by James Cameron, beats the box office, again, he, beat, he tops himself. It is then overdone by Avengers Endgame, but then Avatar comes back in 2021 after a re-release in China and takes the number one spot again. I feel like that's a little cheating. He did that with Titanic with the 3D releases as well back in 2012, but you know, it is what it is. Avatar currently is the highest grossing movie of all time. Super interesting. I'd love to know your thoughts on this because to my perspective, as somebody who I feel like this is the type of movie that is marketed towards me, the science fiction film, I see almost no cultural footprint from it. Uh, I forget about this movie constantly. I don't see anybody ever talking about it. I don't ever hear anybody online or in person, anybody ever raving about it. It just sort of was, broke this huge record, and then all of a sudden it goes into obscurity until now the sequel comes out. A couple reasons for its uh, financial success at the time. It was one of the first movies filmed in the new 3D style, 3D IMAX. So ticket prices were hiked for that. People watching it in IMAX one, watching it in IMAX 3D two, you get a bump in the cost of tickets for that. The 3D movies have really have trickled down again. They were big like in the 70s, 80s. They had a spike, went down. 2010s came back up again, have kind of gone down. So I wonder how much of that is responsible for the price surge of Avatar. It was a unique, cool thing, new thing at the time. That's why I'm really interested to see how the sequel is gonna play out. But I'd love to know your thoughts on that because I see almost no cultural footprint from it. That being said, I have seen this movie only one time, I think in theaters, and I've seen a couple clips here and there. Jen, what do you know about it? And how are you feeling going into Avatar? Also not to be confused with Avatar The Last Airbender, which we're also watching right now. Gosh, I am so excited for both this movie and just Alien Week as a whole. There are so many movies on our list for Alien Week that I have been wanting to see since we started doing My Girlfriend Watches. I remember asking to watch Alien because Holden told me about it and I'm like, what the heck? Why have I not seen this movie? This is like right up my alley. And of course he said, no, we have to do it for content. And he gave me that <laughs> face where I feel like he kind of enjoyed it a little bit, but um, I'm so excited to do Alien Week. And then this movie I've heard so much about, but I know nothing of the storyline, the tribe, I, I don't know like what they are like, people uh, are they animals i i just don't know so i'm Is really disrespectful excited. to the aliens that are watching i'm so sorry, sorry all aliens for our insensitivity james cameron's Titanic movie is one of my favorite movies. It was one of the first movies that me and Holden bonded over and yeah, so i'm hoping do, what what nothing what nothing What'd you say? Yeah, you're going on. Go ahead. I have a lot of faith in James Cameron, honestly. I have heard what type of director he is, that he's a perfectionist. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this movie, but who knows? I noticed it's close to three hours, and I was telling Holden that I, I am more short and sweet. I think that sometimes when they're longer movies, they can kind of go on too long and it ruins the movie for me. So I'm hoping that this is not the case. That's probably my biggest hesitation going into this movie. I, I think it's gonna be creative, but I'm, I'm worried that it's gonna go on a little too long. I'm really excited though. I don't think I've been this pumped for like a, it's not really a series that we're going through, but Alien Week, just alien theme movies. I'm just really excited. And I think this is gonna be a great way to kick it off. A few years ago, Jen and I went to Animal Kingdom at Disney and we they had this whole Pandora world there that they built in 2017. Our friend Di, thank you Di, hooked us up with tickets to go see that and uh, we were able to do the flight of the animal, whatever it is, the, the big Pandora ride at Disney. And it was a, a lot of fun. I remember Jen got a little freaked out. I tried to film it, but one of the employees came and actually turned my camera away. Fun facts, uh, James Cameron wrote the treatment for this movie back in like the mid nineties before even Titanic one came out. At the time it was so VFX heavy uh, using the equipment that they had, it still is today, but would have cost the studios $400 million uh, to do all the VFX work that he wanted to do on it. And so it was shelved until he saw Gollum in 
uh, Lord of the Rings uh, back in 2002. And when he saw Gollum's, how he was animated through CGI, he thought that now was the time to start working on, um, on Avatar. Right now, I think that there are five total Avatar movies that he has planned. Just some fun facts about it. Uh, I, I'm super excited to get into it, but before we get into it, the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from Anthony Wynn. This is from our Avatar The Last Airbender show watching that we're doing right now. Who says, I've loved seeing the progression from I'm not in love with this show yet to in-depth conversations about char character growth and caring about the genuine emotions the characters are feeling. I agree. I think for Jen and I both, Avatar The Last Airbender has been kind of a slow burn for us to get to the point where we're like super invested into the characters. And I think probably longer than many of the viewers wanted us to, but we are, I feel like getting there in it. So if you wanna watch our Avatar The Last Airbender reactions, you can watch those now. Subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified when we post the new ones. We're closing in on book three right now. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. Avatar by James Cameron. Special thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. The holidays are such a busy time of year and sometimes I just want a fresh, healthy meal that I can make quickly. That's why I love having Factor. They take the guesswork out of eating healthy. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian designed meals right to your doorstep. All of Factor's meals are free of antibiotics, hormones, refined sugars, and GMOs. Factor is cheaper than dining in. Put the money you're going to use on buying groceries or eating out, and instead save that for holiday fun and family time. Things get really hectic during the holidays, and luckily, Factor is flexible. You can change your orders up every week. Planning a big family getaway? No problem. You can pause or reschedule your delivery anytime. Holt and I travel during the holiday season quite often, and it's been really easy to reschedule our meals. There is no prep with Factor. Meals come prepared for you and are ready in two minutes. It saves me time on cleanup so I can enjoy the holiday time without spending hours in the kitchen. One of my favorite meals that I get is the grilled chicken a la vodka. The chicken breast is marinated with garlic and Italian herbs and the cheesy top chicken is paired with a rich and creamy pink sauce and served over a base of crisp, tender zucchini noodles. Absolutely delicious. I also really love their smoothies. No lie, I'm actually really bad about eating breakfast in the morning. I know I'm supposed to, but we always have really crazy and hectic mornings trying to get the kids off to school first thing. So I always like to grab a tropical fruit factor smoothie with me when I'm heading out the door. Head to go.factor75.com slash Holden60 and use promo code Hold in 60 and get 60% off your first Factor box. That's go.factor75.com slash hold in 60 and use code hold in 60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. It really is great and it's a sponsor we do actively use, so make sure you go check them out. When I was lying there in the VA hospital with a big hole blown through the middle of my life. You know, I don't even know who's in this. Zoe Saldana. Sigour oh, okay. Sigourney Weaver. Sooner. Really? You always have to wake up. Sam Worthington was living out of his car when he auditioned for this. James Cameron wanted to hire a relatively unknown at the time. Tommy was a scientist, not me. He was the one who wanted to get shot light years out in space to find the answers. A week before Tommy's gonna ship out, a guy with a gun ends his journey. Me, I'm just another dumb grunt going someplace he's gonna regret. Up ahead was Pandora. Grew up hearing about it, but I never figured I'd be going there. The little planet is Pandora? I think so. Presented a significant investment. Since your genome is identical to his, you could step into his shoes. It's It'd like the moon start. of this larger planet. Of the world. So I'm oh. assuming this is set in the future? Yeah. No such thing as an ex marine. No, Boston. Get, get Maybe down. Down. They can fix a spinal if you got the money. Back on Earth, these guys were army dogs. Is that a transformer? No. Look out, hot rod. Meals on wheels. A man said meals on wheels. Oh, oh he was a potter in uh, Daredevil. The guy who mm, made him the suit. Mm -hmm. You are not in Kansas anymore. If there is a hell, okay. you're becoming a problem. Every living thing that crawls, flies, or Boston. Oh my goodness. Sorry. The Navi. 
The Navi. On the barrel. It is my job to keep you alive. I will not succeed. <laughs> you got to obey the rules. Oh, this is like basic train all over again. Nothing like an old school safety brief to put your mind at ease. To drive these remotely controlled bodies called avatars. He's a scientist in everything I ever see him in. Wait, so they're growing the native people, but mixed with human DNA? Yeah, so they're just like corpses essentially, but they use them as avatars. So they like they have like a neural link to them so they can control those bodies. Like as a Trojan horse? Oh, well they haven't disclosed why yet. Oh, but. okay. This is your avatar now, Jake. There's Sigorns. Oh, who's got my goddamn cigarette? <laughs> Guys. A grace. They actually created a real language. James Cameron hired someone. I need your brother. You know, the PhD who trained for three years for this mission? He's dead. I know it's a big inconvenience for everyone. <laughs> you see that? Oh, this guy. Oh, Giovanni Ribisi. From Friends. Oops. <laughs> I need a researcher. Relations with the indigenous are only getting worse. Yeah, that tends to happen when you use machine guns on them. Right. This is why we're here. Unobtainium. It's what pays for your science. It's all exposition there. No. Don't. Got this. Sick of doctors telling me what I couldn't do. Head down. Down. <laughs> Just relax. And let Welcome to your new body, Jake. Good. No problem. So his body is in hibernation while his like conscious is in the in this body? Yeah. <sighs> he can walk again. Just the motor control is good. Hello. Hold on now, don't take it easy. Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? I need you to sit down. Jake! It's okay. Buddy, listen to me. Feel good, I got this. Jake! Yeah. Jake. Sit down! Sit down! Jake. Come on. They're gonna put you out. Jake, They're gonna put you out. Oh, Oh, got that avatar butt. I gotta get out of these leads. Okay. Jake! Jake! Excuse me. Jake! We're not supposed to be running! Oh, jeez. Sigourney? Well, who'd you expect, numb nuts? Don't play with that, you'll go blind. Nice. That's kind of <laughs> Come on. Boston, so help me. Here, come lay over there. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of people in this Yeah. Watch it! This low gravity will make you soft. Pandora will sh** you out dead with zero warning. Three tours in Nigeria, not a scratch. I come out here, day one. Think I felt like a shaved tail, Louie? It reminds me every day what's waiting out there. Such a Marine could provide the intel I need right on the ground. I want you to gain their trust. I need to know how to force their cooperation or hammer them hard if they won't. You walk like one of her science pukes that you report to me. Hell oh, yeah, sir. Well, all right, then. Get me what I need, I'll see to it you get your legs back when you rotate home. That sounds real good, sir. Cool looking trees. Is this all CGI? Yeah. Stay with the ship. One idiot with a gun is enough. I thought their goal was to like blend in with them and gain their trust. Relax, Marine. You're making me nervous. Oh, so it looks like they're just exploring the environment. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't shoot it. Big old beetle rhino thing. Jake, that armor's too thick. Trust me. Ah! 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 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah, you got nothing. Yeah, uh, hey, why don't you bring back some of your friends, huh? Yeah. Run! Definitely run! T-Rex sound effect from Jurassic Park. Oh! Do they actually die? I don't think they've said yet. Zoe Saldana. Hey, wait, don't! It's very pretty scenery. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing it in 3D and it looking pretty good. I just want to say thanks for killing those things. Ah! Ooh. Damn! You don't thank for this. This is sad. They did not need to die. How am I the bad guy? Your fault! Hey, woo. You're like a baby, making noise, don't know what to do. Easy. What's the thinking? Why save you? Yeah, why save me? You have a strong heart. Ignorant like a child. Just really put it in its place. But come on, Le you can't we talk? Okay. Go back. Ganga! <laughs> Seeds of the sacred tree. Very pure spirits. <laughs> Come. What's your name? Uh oh. Ooh, those are cool. I like the horse-like creatures. I can too. hear that raptor sound. What's going on? What's happening? What's he saying? My father is deciding whether to kill you. It's nice to meet you, sir. Is this mom? His mother. Yeah. I thought she was gonna slap his butt. What are you called? Very firm, alien. Jake Sully. Why did you come to us? Came to learn. It is hard to fill a cup which is already full. Oh, nice. Good line. What are you? A warrior of the Jarhead clan. <laughs> My daughter will teach you our ways. Learn well, Jake Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Come on back, kid. Come on. 
That's it. Oh. Is the avatar safe? Yeah, Doc. And you are not gonna believe where I am. Last thing we see is this Marine's ass disappearing into the brush with this angry Thanos. Hey, I'm practically family. You're gonna study me. I have to learn to be one of them. Find out what the blue monkeys want. Wow. You know, I mean, happens to be resting on the richest unobtainium deposit within 200 clicks. Well, who gets him to move? Yes. <laughs> so just find me a carrot that'll get them to move. Otherwise, it's gonna have to be all stick. So who's this Awa? Who's Awa? They're goddess made up of all living things. Everything they know. Yeah. Is that raptor. Feel her heartbeat. What did I just witness? They're, you know, connected. <laughs> This guy. You should go away. No, nah, you'd miss me. Core structure like a spiral. That's how they move up and down. What else can you tell us about the structure? I'm guessing this secondary ring? The legendary floating mountains of Pandora? Heard of them? This guy's kind of rude. He's a little jealous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that from Disney World? It looks really good. It does. They've improved the CGI in the sequel. You see like the pores in the alien skin and stuff now. And this was already like top of the line. Grace didn't miss a thing. She knew I was talking to the colonel. is not horse. Ikran will fly with only one hunter in the whole life. Yeah. Oh. This is what that ride was yeah. based on. Oh, so 2154 22. is the year. Do I have to oh, do this now? Like, the language is a pain. Nari. Nari. <laughs> Letiri calls me scoun. It means moron. <laughs> Norm's attitude has improved lately, but he thinks I'm a scound too. Feet are getting tougher. I can run farther every day. Good for you, Jake. She's always going on about the flow of energy, the spirits of animals. I talk Moat into letting Grace into the village. It's the first time since the school was closed down. Da Vinci's airplane. That's really cool. There's some really great visuals in this mm -hmm. movie. Uh-oh. His ponytail's gonna get hard. He's not careful. It's coming out of his butt. This deep connection. Is that how they reproduce? I don't. All living things. Well, actually. Oh, Grandma. Oh, I like that. All energy is borrowed. One day you have to give it back. Oh, no! Oh, <gasps> no! But why? You gotta feed the villagers. They're doing it, you know, with respect, with reverence. They could eat grass. I don't, I don't think. Wow. Uh. Osha would not approve of this. It's cool. Sheikh Ali will go first. So he's got a connected little thingy. Yeah. But it's coming from his butt. No, 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 that's his tail. His ponytail's from his head. So he's got a ponytail and a tail. Oh. So he's just got to wrangle up this animal without him eating him. There you go. Quick, stick it in. Because that's the answer to everything. To, to bond. How is he gonna bond with him? I mean, to me, this is like rape. Wow. Possibly. 
What am I watching? First flight seals the bond. You cannot wait. Come on, Banshee. Shut up and fly straight. Now they're connected for life. I may not be much of a horse guy, but I was born to do this. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's probably gonna like like their way of life and wanna stay with them. He definitely likes her. I really like those birds. They're really pretty. Yeah. I was a stone cold aerial hunter. You're not the only one. Cool looking things. Our <laughs> <laughs> guys call it a greatly an Opterix. It is Doruk. My grandfather's grandfather was writer of Last Shadow. It has only happened five times since the time of the first songs. That's a long time. The way I see it's time to terminate the mission. It doesn't look like he's Not spinning up, though. Now it's time to come in. Oh, man. You're going to get your legs back. Yeah, I got your corporate approval. I got to finish this ceremony. It's the final stage of becoming a man. If I do it, I'm one of them. And they'll trust me. I can negotiate the terms of their relocation. Itano matakayoi, do you sit? Sigourney? That's <gasps> intricate funnel shaped web. <laughs> like Adam and Eve. Running around. <laughs> this is a place for prayers to be heard. The tree of voices. You know, they have some Navi that are straight up addicts to doing this stuff. Within a one. You may make your bow from the wood of home tree. And you may choose a woman. I oh. wonder who he'll choose. Ninat is the best singer. Well, I don't want Ninat. I've already chosen. Oh, we're gonna make some Navi babies. Oh. Are they gonna connect their tail or their their ponytails? We are mated for life. Uh. What the hell are you doing, Jake? Come on, I need some help. Somebody needs to clean me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Don't forget your phase integration. Jake. Another middle button. Did you ever see Fern Gully? Mm hmm. That's what this reminds me Similar, of. Similar, yeah. With late again I gotta hurry meanwhile this is like father of the bride when he takes the sleeping medication oh yeah <laughs> they have to drag his body out I'm done. Let's go. Wake up! Oh, really heavy sleeper sorry oh, no. this is so depressing what I got a, a native doing the funky chicken here he's blocking my blade these people have to learn that we don't stop come on go 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 don't think <coughs> like update each other because I thought they were on the same page about giving him three months relocate. And it's about that time though. It's been a while, it's been several months. I know, but I didn't see any like conversation like, well, you haven't done it by now. So we're just gonna go through with it. Jake was like, I can negotiate the terms of their relocation. I think the guy was just moving forward anyway. Oh, okay. Oh no. That'd be all right. So sad. There. Scale up. Get me a pilot. Yes, sir. Oh, I hope they win. Stay. They're holding hands. Don't do this. Is that the guy that was supposed to be her mate? Yeah. Oh. You mated with this woman? Yes. Five times. We are mated before Ewa. It is done. Oh. Oh, that's a suck. 
Boy, I took your woman. Don't make me take your life. I knew this guy was bad news. You can't interrupt the Lincoln's progress. Grace. Oh. I was sent here to. Oh. Grace. Yeah, you know, protect, protect your, your man. man. Yeah. Get out of your goddamn mind! You crossed the line. You find yourself some local tail, and you just completely forget what team you're playing for. Some kind of electrochemical communication, like the synapses between neurons. It's more connections than the human brain. It's a global network, and the Navi can access it. What the hell have you people been smoking out there? <laughs> You need to wake up, Parker. No. Everything they sent me out here to do is a waste of time. Since a deal can't be made, I guess things get real simple. I'll do it with minimal casualties to the indigenous. I'll drive them out with gas first. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Come on, people. He's going to hit home tree. Oh. They're fly-bitten savages that live in a tree. They're children, babies. Are you gonna kill children? You don't want that kind of blood in your hands. Let me try to talk them out. Run sequence. Initiating 30 seconds. Unless you want your girlfriend in there when the ax comes down, you get them to evacuate. One hour. Tell them they're gonna be here soon. They sent me here to learn your ways. What are you saying, Jake? Oh my gosh. You knew this would happen? It was just orders. We connected <laughs> ponytails. You put your ponytail in mine. I fell in love with the, with the forest, with you. I trusted you. Aww. Yeah, please. Oh no. You will never be one of the people. You thought I am. Oh. I think he probably should have told her that after he convinced them to relocate. Yeah, probably. Drinking his coffee in this thing. They will destroy this place. Nateri, you must go now. Nateri. Anari Sinibu! Run! Oh my gosh. That is one big damn tree. Well, well, well. I'd say diplomacy has failed. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. These dumb bastards ain't getting the message. Oh my goodness. That's how you scatter the roaches. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Help us. I'm surprised they haven't uh, yanked them out. Just sticking with it to the end. Sad. That's really good though. Oh, it does. First round's on me tonight. Oh my goodness. You so cold. Right. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Come back. Oh, Norm. Good for him. Sooner or later, though, you always have to wake up. <laughs> yeah, you know what that is. Down. <laughs> she always plays this role. Yeah. Couldn't forget about my family. Unauthorized engine start. Yes, God. Safety fire, let's go! Oh. Yeah. 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 Are you all right back there? Oh. Oh, Sigourn. Oh, you good? This is gonna ruin my whole day. <laughs> We're moving. I'm gonna get you some help, Grace. Awa will provide. There was only one place they could go. They just left him there. Mm -hmm. 
A trip. They took Sigourney, though. Yeah. Alien. Sigourney. Oh, man. There's something we gotta do. You're not gonna like it. Taruk is the baddest cat in the sky. Nothing attacks him. So why would he ever look up? Sigourney. The great mother may choose to save all Who's that. that? She That's is. her avatar. Okay. She must pass through the eye of Ewa and return. She is very weak. So they're trying to permanently yeah. place her as the avatar? Yeah. Well, they're trying to save Ewa. We'll do that. Maybe they can do that for Jake. Jake. I'm with her, Jake. She's real. Grace. Grace, did it work? Her wounds were too great. She is with Ewa now. Oh, no. With your permission, I will speak now. The Sky People have sent us a message. But we will send them a message. You ride out as fast as the wind can carry you. You tell them Tarek Makto calls to them. And we will show the Sky People that they cannot take whatever they want. This is our land! Come on, babe, let's go. Everyone on this base is fighting for survival, and more are pouring in. Our only security lies in preemptive attack. We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep that they won't come within a thousand. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Their instruments won't work up here. Missile tracking won't work. If they get to the Tree of Souls, it's over. Well, I guess we better stop him. If Grace is with you, see the world we come from. There's no green there. They killed their mother. They're gonna come like a rain that never ends. Look, you chose me for something. Our great mother does not take sides, Jake. It was worth a try. So he's having some regrets. This is Papa Dragon. Papa Dragon. Let's bring the pain. Eyes up, check that overhead. No those thermal scans. Oh, I like their war paint. I like these horse things a lot too. Jeez, nice. Wow. Weapons free, weapons free. So chaotic. The size of those arrows. Oh. That's him. Get after him. The only one with a gun, bitch. Keep her in. Oh. oh no. Don't forget family. Oh no. Oh, not 
the bird. Oh, I'd be PO too. Oh my gosh. Oof. Oh no. Oh. Rogue One is hit. Sorry. Rogue One. Uh, Norm. No. no. Michelle. Oh, it's on fire. Jeez. Rogue One, you copy? Just them all out. Oh. Is that necessary? Do not attack. Oh, she's gonna attack. Get out of there. You got movement 200 meters. Be ready. Oh, uh, it's, it's the rhino the... beetles. Jeez. <laughs> it was hurt you! Oof. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh. It's Sully. Oh crap! Let's try to punch that thing in the face. Oof! Oh, she's pinned down. Give it up, Quarch! It's all over. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. I kind of hoped you'd say that. What's his plan for oxygen? Good question. Oh. Oh. Just a mask. How's it feel to betray your own race? Time to wake up. Oh no. Oof. Oh, he's gonna run out of air. Come on, dude. Jake! My Jake! Oh. That's a big woman. <laughs> I see you. The aliens went back to their dying world. The time of great sorrow was ending. Daruk Makto was no longer needed. Well, uh, I guess this is my last video log. I'm not gonna be coming back to this place. 
I don't want to be late for my own party. It's my birthday after all. permanently in his avatar body. All right, just finished Avatar. I'm really happy that we watched this, or I watched this again before we see the new one uh, later this month. This one was, I think, a pretty solid movie. There was a lot that I didn't remember, and I think also watching it a little bit older too, there's a lot more that I could appreciate about it. Anyway, what did you think of this movie? Right off the bat, the biggest thing that Avatar had going for it was the CGI and just how unique Pandora, that's the name of the planet, just how unique Pandora really was visually. And James Cameron, I knew it, attention to detail, he just knocked that out of the park. Everything from these like floating rock formations to just everything, attention to detail was visually beautiful. It all seemed to serve a purpose. So I think he did a great job at just kind of connecting everything. Natiri I thought was great. For most of the movie, I feel like we're living Jake's life, you know, his, his two lives really. He's trying to honor his brother, do his duty, and then he has this other life, true love, and somewhere he really feels like he belongs and that he's happy. The Navi people, the Navi alien, are they people? <laughs> I still don't worry, know. they're not real, so nobody um, can say anything. The Navi civilization, I thought was so creative, visually stunning to watch. In the beginning, I was so confused as to, okay, so it's Jake, but he's living in these bodies, or in this body, like incognito to try and convince them to move so that they can mine this resource or make money off of this resource. I got that part, but I didn't understand why the Navi civilization was so willing to take him in so quickly, I guess. But then it dawned on me that they had never been attacked before this, correct? They sort of had. Sigourney Weaver alluded that they had like fired on them with machine guns at some point, but not at this scale. Okay, I guess I'm right back to being confused then because I feel like I would naturally be on guard and um, they, you know, they found him, or Natiri found him, brought him back, and then almost immediately took him in and said, okay, we're, we're gonna teach him. And I understand you mentioned that it was the way of, the, or the voice of their leader? They or, win, or who was it? The, their deity, yeah. Spiritual? It's like their god, yeah. Okay, okay, so their god was the one that instructed them to take him in and teach him yeah. and make, them, make him one of their own. Yes. Okay. Because they were super, like, skeptical about him. They were debating to kill him or not, you know? Okay, so I just need a clarification on that. That makes sense to me. Totally makes sense. But while watching, I was a little confused about that. I thought that the action sequences were also, in particular, very creative. Especially me being an animal lover, I realize these are not actual animals. However, it doesn't make it any less interesting to watch. They had all different types of animals and they used them to defend their people, their land. And watching that was just so great. I mean, you had all these like birds just flying through this terrain that was absolutely beautiful. I think when I think of Avatar, that is what I'm going to picture. Just this beautiful terrain and them defending that that land of theirs. Really interesting. There were times where I had to like clarify. So sorry for all the questions, but I had to like, this is what's happening. I'm still a little lost on if they were killed while they're in the avatar state, if they would be killed as a human. It, it didn't seem like it. It didn't seem like, cause uh, what, what's his norm? I know, he, but he, I mean, he was just injured, but I'm, I'm wondering if like- But he can't get himself out of the thing. So the only way that that could have been disconnected is if his avatar body would have died. Oh, okay, that makes sense. See, I, I need these little details because I did not pick up on a lot of that stuff, but I'm, I'm glad that I was able to clarify that. Anyways, I think that the movie was really well done. It, it was definitely a long movie. The leader of the military was very terrifying, very gung-ho. I appreciated him as, you know, the villain. Giovanni Rubisi in this, it was fun to have his character in here. He really struck me as somebody that was not as on board with his plan as he 
he lets on. There were a couple times where I was like, you don't wanna do that. It's clear he doesn't wanna do that. But I appreciate James Cameron for, again, like attention to detail because they could have thrown in just another character where he was like, yes, and absolutely gung-ho about it. But instead he chose a character that really at times seemed indecisive. The actor that played Jake, I don't remember what his name Sam was. Sam Worthington. Did phenomenal. Especially like his relationship with Sigourney Weaver. The minute that I saw them try to bring her into her avatar permanently, I was like, that's what they're gonna do with him. And I was hoping for that. So I thought that was a fantastic way to end the movie, especially knowing that the follow-up film is coming out. I don't really have any complaints about it. The final siege w went on a little longer than I think it needed to. However, those action sequences were so well done that I really don't mind watching them. I'm really looking forward to the second one. Upon rewatching it, I agree. I think that it was absolutely phenomenal. Although, like I said at the beginning, there hasn't been like a huge like cultural footprint of this movie. Watching it, like I'm pretty stoked on it right now. I'm even more excited to see the sequel. This was fantastic. I saw an IMAX 3D when it first came out and you can tell a lot of the shots were made for 3D. The novelty of 3D has kind of once again worn off. So I'm really curious to see how the sequel is going to fare. Like this, this one had a lot of, not gimmicks, but things about it that kind of incited the general audience maybe more. Like people that don't normally like science fiction type of things were more enticed to go see a movie like this. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping for James Cameron's sake that Avatar 2 performs well. The number one criticism about this movie is that the storyline is very, very derivative, as Falcon would say. Very Dances with Wolves. You even mentioned Fern Gully, a little bit of Pocahontas in there too. The biggest complaint that people have, that's like a repeated storyline. So story-wise, not the most unique thing. However, the world that kind of encircles it, encompasses it, is very, very unique. Probably one of the most visually interesting movies ever. <laughs> you know, super, super fantastic. It looks wonderful. I mean, this came out in 2009. The visual effects are just phenomenal. I've read one guy who got to see at least a couple of clips of the new one that's coming out. Says that it's even more like visually appealing. And even from the trailers that we've seen in theaters, it look, I mean, it just, it looks like they've taken it up another notch. So super fantastic. Sigourney Weaver, love her. Sam Worthington, I agree. I think he killed it, knocked it out of the park. Supporting cast were all great. I liked how everything in this movie had a purpose. Like the very beginning where you see the rhino beetle things and when he's like first, you know, as the as an avatar, they make a reappearance at the end. The part with Sigourney Weaver where they're trying to like put her mind into the avatar body and it fails only for them to use that later to bring Sam at the end into Sam Worthington at the end into his avatar body. Even their ponytail had a purpose. Yeah, even their ponies. Yeah, I love the idea of the bonding with stuff. I know right. that we joke about, you know, oh yeah, they're getting laid and having sex and everything. But I really love how they, they make it a, a, a spiritual and emotional connection. You know, when he and his mate, they bond and we're joking around. But honestly, I, I, I love that kind of approach to it. It means something, it matters. It's spiritual, you know, I love that. So wonderful with that. You know, they do it with the animals as well, but not in the same you know kind of context. But just to, they have those bonds and that's wonderful. We don't see that a whole lot culturally. They did it with the tree too, which was really interesting. Yeah, just everything that's alive, they can do it. Anyway, so I love that approach to it. I thought that, that was great. Again, I know we, we even joked about it. I know everybody jokes about those scenes, but honestly speaking, it, that really is great. What would you rate Avatar? Having this much CGI, I feel like can be worrisome, but James Cameron, I don't know how long it took him to make this. I know I've heard with the second one, he spent a lot of time on it, but I understand why. Like it makes sense because it really came out. You can tell that he spent the time on it and wanted it to be a good product. <sighs> I really liked it. With this much CGI, I, I was worried, but I enjoyed it. I thought the storyline, I, I enjoyed. I can understand why some people would criticize it for that, but I think that it's believable in this world. Um, the idea that humans want this resource, they end up taking it by force. I, that makes sense to me. It really does. The characters were so dynamic and different. The cast was a great choice. The action scenes were really interesting. And more than anything, it was visually stunning to watch. That coupled together, I think made for a really great film. 
So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a nine. I don't even know how old I was in 2009. I would have been still like in high school. There's a lot about it that I don't think I really appreciated as much. Seeing, I remember liking it, but watching it again now, I really, really like it. For me, structurally as a movie, visually as a movie, I think everything about this movie just works. I think it, so I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a 9.5. Ooh. It's pretty solid, it's pretty solid. Yeah, that's where I'm at. But those, of course, are just some of our thoughts on Avatar. We'd love to know some of your thoughts down in the comments below, so leave us a comment down below. We'd love to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post our next Alien movie. And check out Patreon. You can watch the full two hours and 40 some minutes of Avatar with me and Jen. And you can see Boston annoying us the entire time. Uh, that's all over there. There's also early access stuff and we're watching Star Wars Rebels exclusively on there right now. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.